morning and one of our neighbors in a big diesel bus there uh, the water spraying like 40 feet up in the air onto their spot so Kenny woke up real quick he's gonna go turn off the bell Jeez. check it out so finally Kenny got the, the valve closed off what a pain in the ass Poor guy's RV spot just got drenched. Fuck. Oh, God. <laughs> so what we got going on is Kenny had to turn off the main valve. We have an Airbnb guest in the cabin, middle of a shower full of soap, and the water got turned off. And he thought he could turn it back on for a few minutes, but now the leak is under the ground. So I guess this is the fun of owning a big RV park. <laughs> We're just going over. Kenny and Jay are setting up the tent. And uh, we're just going to check it out before we buy nine more. And uh, today is the day we're turning up the heat. It is April 1st, so happy April Fools. And now shit's getting real because we have a month to really clean this place up. To get ready to rock it out. Yeah. It feels pretty beefy to me, man. Does it? Yeah. It's pretty nice. Yeah, we ain't even got it pulled all the way out yet. So I'm in the shower and I get a message from Airbnb that people are driving towards us and they're two hours away and it's almost midnight and they're trying to book. So I just came to the office and made a, give, a, give them a note, give them a map. Hey, that's what's called loving your job, man. Gotta get some bed, some rest. We're gonna measure what size mattresses are gonna fit in there. Either twin. I don't think a queen's gonna work because no. we've got a pole in the middle. There's a stripper pole. All right, so I think we can put a twin. We'll put a twin here, a twin there. Twin bed. So we have three twins and you can put two twin beds together to make a king and then maybe a kid can sleep on the other twin bed. It's perfect. And it's a party. <laughs> Going on to Amazon real quick. I'm ordering um, three, three twin mattresses. I'm figuring about $3,000 to $3,500 for each glamping tent. The tents are $550. The decks are going to be about 1000 bucks in lumber. Probably a hundred bucks per mattress, some LED lighting, pot belly stove, um, just a couple other things. And uh, we'll probably have 3,500 in them each. Gonna start with six, put them along the creek. I think people are gonna dig them. So basically, uh, RV spot rents for X amount of money and they can bring two people. Any more than two people, we charge $3.50 per person and uh, we charge a three dollar dog fee but basically we've noticed that people kind of forget to put the extra fees when they're making the online reservation or even if they call in and make a, a phone reservation when we look at them with our eyes after they've set up their camp we see them through our window or we see them cruising through the park so we just go on to the res nexus reservation system go into their reservation add the fees, charge their cards, send them an email saying that we noticed they brought some extra people or extra pets and we charged them and we worked our butts off. So now it's time to celebrate. Oops. Hey, it is almost noon. Here you go, man. So on Res Nexus, we have a thing called front desk and it shows you arrivals, departures, and stayovers. 
So for all um, all the arrivals, I give them uh, a car camping pass. I put the departure date. I got a map and I draw their spot with a little um, a line to show them from the entrance to their space and the park rules. And we're trying to get in the in the habit of doing this every morning. Otherwise, people just drive in and then we got to catch them and see how many people. So this way we just hand them their stuff and they move on and enjoy their weekend. So it's Saturday today, 2.30. We just locked the office up. Just check these two RVs in and they're going to their spot. And we're going to try wrap it up early today and go on date night. Go for some pizza or something. Otherwise, uh, we end up working and working and working. Even though it's fun, we got to have some other stuff going on besides work. Kenny and, um, and Jay are kicking ass. Cleaning up. So you got the clean shed. Wow. Oh my God. We don't play, bro. Where's all the stuff? Hey, all the walls, bro. And the weed eaters are in the shop. Okay, Amazing. That's yeah. nuts. Uh, so when we left for San Diego, I was in the middle of building a 272 amp hour lithium battery. And I brought all the parts with me. And it's kind of cool because now we have a workshop. And I've been putting this battery together. And today, I think, the final steps. So I got it right here. It's a 12 volt battery. Here's the BMS, Battery Management System. It protects high and low temperature, high and, low, high and low voltage. This is my bench charger. And one of the cool things is I have an app where you can monitor everything. You can monitor everything um, that's going on with the battery. So basically it charges up to 271.98 volts out of 272. So it's fully charged. And uh, we're going to put it in the camper. There's the Bluetooth pickup. Hi. Good, you. So when we bought the park, Russ, who lives on the property, told us that these things were really junk and non-operational. Kenny spends 15 minutes on it, and damn thing's running. We're going for a ride. I was the one that said we've got to get them up and running. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> and I'm taking the new battery. It's like almost well, it's double the size. I'm gonna put it in the camper and see how it uh, how it performs. I'm pretty sure it's gonna fit in that hole. Ooh, heavy. Sweet, so I got it in there. Just got some temporary cardboard on here. Eventually I'm gonna build a, some kind of a plastic box. Um, everything seems to be working inside the camper. I unplug the electrical and uh, put on some fans. All the lights are working. And the solar controller here, even though there's no, there's no, um, Production of sun because it's evening right now. We're going on date night across the road <laughs> to the McLeod Meat Market. The only restaurant in town. <laughs> Getting gas in this cute little town of McLeod. The RV parks just across there over the barn. And we're going to the meat market just over those houses. But look at that mountain. Unbelievable. So we at the McLeod Meat Market. It used to be really, a, it's not really a hookup place. It's a, it really was a market for meat. Butchery. We got all the old freezers. That was delicious. Excellent. Wow, look at those stars. Welcome. Thank you. It was a great dinner. Now 
very warm and cozy. Mm, it is warm in here. And we hopefully are going to get to sleep early tonight. Before midnight. Jeez, two nights in a row dealing with guests and cleaning and checking people in. I need a break. I need to go, <laughs> need to go on a camping trip. <laughs> Dunsmere, just down the hill on the 5 freeway, which is about 17 miles away from the cloud. Very cute little town. It's almost like stepping back in time. All the buildings are old. It's a nice historical district. Now it's Bloody Mary time. Yeah. Cheers. So we just had an appointment arrive. Tammy's already sitting with them. They are from a group called the Trailblazers. And they rent the RV park out. They rent the entire RV park out. So we're just going to talk to them about the details. And uh, they rent like a hundred spots at one time. Thank you. 